everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Today I'm going to share a layout I created from a sketch and show you my paper selection process as I create the page. Right now we are enjoying another fun-filled vacation at the parks, so I thought I would celebrate by sharing this layout I created of our trip last year. Last September I created this sketch for Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. There were a few hiccups with life and work that occurred, and it kept me from sharing my process video. That's the great thing about sketches. They can be used over and over any time of the year. I have a photo of my husband that I took with his favorite character, Mary Poppins. The year we took this, the cast members were behind fences and could not be approached for photos or autographs. I want to make sure that the character stands out even though she's far away in the background. So I'm going to select patterns that will help with that. I'm starting out with some blue patterns. These match the shirt my husband's wearing and the lovely blue sky and are going to contrast with the red outfit she is wearing. I like to set my photos onto each of the papers that I'm considering so that I can see which patterns and colors bring out the items that I want to stand out. The first stripe pattern is a nice blue that matches my husband's shirt. I also like using vertical stripes that lead to a photo. The soft blue plaid has a theme park feel but the colors are a bit too childish and I want this to be a more mature layout. I'm also unsure about the polka dots. I like the theme park vibe, but they feel like they're too light in color for my page. I'm going to stick with the blue stripe and select a red color that will pull out the Mary Poppins character in the background. I have a stripe pattern and a polka dot. Now, I do like the idea of using polka dots on this page, but those blue ones were a bit too small. I like the really bold ones here, and I think they're going to go well with the big stripes. This is going to be an 8.5 by 11 layout, and I feel like two striped patterns might be a bit too much for that smaller design. But since the scale of the polka dots and stripes are the same, I think they're going to work well together. Now that I have my two main colors, I want to bring in some more options for this page. From my theme park collection, I have this piece of pale pink grid paper and some black and white script. I'm going to bring back the sketch so that I can show you my thought process for these patterns. For the background, I want to use the bold stripe. This photo is going to be placed near the base of the page and that directional pattern is going to lead your eye down to that focal point. To create a horizontal piece and a separation of the bold colors, I'm going to place this black and white script and then I'll use the red polka dot behind the photo to make Mary Poppins really stand out. I would also like to add a bit of yellow to my page to create a primary color palette. I have a few yellow patterns here that I'll try, but I think I like the lighter option because I only want to use a small accent of color. All right, so here is what this looks like all together. I like the addition of the pink and the yellow, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them yet. That blue pattern is pulling your eye down to the photo and the red pattern is bringing out the character in the background. So those are working out really well. After playing around with the components a little bit, here's what I ended up with. I changed one of the layers to a tag shape so that I would have two vertical tags on this layout. By lengthening these, they are helping to balance out the page and once again, lead your eye down to the photo. I added some stitching in place of the border and I also added some stitching as a frame around that black and white paper. This is a great separation between all of the layers. 
Now, since I added some black to the page to help tone down all those bright colors, I decided to back the photo in black. Adding a color to your background that you have around the photo helps draw your eye to that focal point. Earlier in this process, I considered using some pale blue patterns. I decided to bring those in with a journaling card. I just typed this up and printed it out on my computer. It has a pale blue stripe and some red dots and these match the other elements in the photo. I do want to break up that polka dot pattern just a little bit. So I'm going to add a lace circle and tuck it behind the journaling card. And then I'll bring in some embellishments that match the theme of this layout. I'm going to add a parasol on the left and bring in a few florals on the right above and below the photo. Now I didn't have any florals in my collection that would work, so I just cut these out of some pattern paper scraps that I had. They're bringing in some reds and pink and blue to the page. These also help to break up some of that yellow pattern so that less of it shows through. To match those florals, I'm going to add a red carpet bag over by the parasol and some rose stickers. These are forming a nice visual triangle with the other florals on the page. As I tack all these elements down, I'm going to share more of this memory with you. As I said earlier, the cast members were not able to get close for photos, and I knew that my husband would want a photo but was afraid to ask. I told him to walk to the side of the garden and I would snap a quick picture of him. Mary Poppins was facing the other direction and we thought she wouldn't notice, but of course, cast members are trained to notice and she quickly turned right as I snapped the photo. Since this is such a great little memory, I added a phrase above the photo that says, trip of a lifetime, and then I brought in a title for the page. I combined two sticker elements. One says, look who it is, and the other says, practically perfect. Behind that title, I did layer some florals that are yellow and pink that match those two tags. Now here's the completed page next to the sketch I designed. I did add a red bow and some red enamel dots to bring some more of that color to the page. And then I added a few black elements to balance out the colors. I did skip that little fold at the top because this layout is scaled down to a smaller size and I wanted quite a bit of that blue background to show. As you take a look at the detailed photos, I hope that you were inspired to give this sketch a try. I modified it to fit a smaller layout, but kept many of the elements the same, like the location of the photo, the tag, layers of papers, stitching, and floral elements. I love this combination of primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, with the pink on this page. It gives a great theme park feel, but brings a bit of maturity to the layout. If you're one who enjoys pinning photos to inspiration boards, I have placed still shots on my website for you to use. Thank you for joining me for another project, and I hope to share more vacation photos with you soon. Have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to see what you create.